Hi everybody, happy Monday guys, how are we all doing? We will get going in just a sec, so we'll just allow people to join in on the live. Hi Roz. <laughs> Hi Ona, how are we all doing? Hello everybody. Nice to see you. <laughs> okay, so I've just been joined here with my dog. So <laughs> Okay guys, so today we have got for you a home chair workout. So we'll be using full body here. So all you need today is your chair. If you wanna make any exercises harder as always, do feel free to grab your weights and um, use them along with the exercises. So as always, we will be doing 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, twice over and then we're doing that three rounds so nice half an hour session it'll go really quickly i promise and i'll be doing the workouts with you guys as well so hopefully this is just going to give you enough to keep that motivation going and hopefully you guys are not getting too bored of your second week working from home so let's just keep that motivation going and amazing to see so many of you guys on here joining us today so we'll just start with a nice easy warm-up so making sure guys you've either got a chair or you can use your sofa that's absolutely fine or a little table coffee table something like that just making sure that you have got something like this that you can use for your exercises today all right so jumping up we'll start with a quick warm-up so just finding a little bit of space we're going to start with some arm circles so just circling the arms back And then the other way going forward. Good. And then, of course, we're going to start with those hip circles again. So nice wide legs. You're rotating your hips one way. Just getting a bit of movement through the lower body. And the other way as well. Okay guys, now we're just going to go for a quick stretch, so we're reaching all the way down, trying to touch the toes, wiggling those legs a little bit if you need to, so just be bending one knee at a time, just to get that deep stretch into the back of the legs. And then coming all the way up, we're now going to come back into those marches, so nice high knees, warming up the hip flexors here, so bringing your knees up to touch your hands. As always, I don't want people dropping their hands down to their knees. You want to be getting the knees up. And if your hands are too high, just lower them down so that you can get your knees up to the hands. Good, so just starting to get a little bit warmer. All right, for three, two, and one. So hopefully you are feeling a little bit warm. Please do feel free, however, if you don't feel very warm, just jog on the spot right now while I'm talking and I will talk you through our first round. So, nice and easy, we're gonna be starting with some incline press-ups. So, holding either side of your chair onto your sofa, extending the legs straight, we're just gonna be using our chest muscles here, coming into press-ups. If that's too hard for you, you can come down onto your knees, doing your half press-ups this way. If you do though, you wanna make sure that you are still working the chest, so get your knees a little bit further away. Okay, so that's exercise number one. Exercise number two, tricep dips. So we're gonna be sitting onto the edge, lifting yourself off, and then pushing up, working into the triceps here. If you wanna work harder, legs can come straight out. If you wanna make it a little bit easier, bending the legs, bringing yourself closer towards that chair, and that's gonna make that a little bit easier. Third exercise that we have got today, you guys are going to be sick of squats by the end of these. So we're going to be squatting down onto your chair. Don't sit down. We're just going to tap the bum onto the chair and then jump up. So just tapping down and jumping up. If that's too difficult, just coming down into your squats. And then the fourth and final exercise of this round, we're going to be doing some hip thrusts. So you want to make sure that Females, we're about where your bra line is. Males, somewhere in the middle of your back. 
You want to just make sure that you're balancing onto the edge of that chair. And then you're going to bring your whole body, so notice that my head comes down, my whole spine stays in line. And then up. So we're doing pulses. So we're going to go one, two. One, two. So notice I'm squeezing the glutes here as I come up. Okay, guys. So I am hoping that that all makes sense. Make sure you have got that chair ready. And I'm just going to take off my jumper and then we'll be ready to go. So first round, starting with those incline press-ups. So get yourself ready, whether it's on your chair or your sofa. All right, I'm about to start the timer. So when we're ready, come into those press-ups in three, two, and one, off we go. So remember, you have the option, straight legs, if that's too difficult, come down onto your knees, coming into your press-ups like this. So breathe in as you go down, breathe out as you press up. Remember, you can come into those full press-ups to challenge yourself a little bit more. So keeping that moving, guys. Keep the core nice and tight. Try not to let the back arch or the bum drop too low. Working into the upper body here. We're here in five, four, three, two, and one. Resting. Okay, that's exercise number one done. We've got about 15 seconds left of rest, and then we're coming into our tricep dips. So, hands onto either the sides or the edge of your chair, or your sofa. Sitting up nice and tall, lifting yourself up. We're going in three, two, and one. So breathe in, and then breathe out as we push up. Good, so really working back the arms here. Remember, you have got the option if you want to make it harder, straighten those legs and make sure all the weight is onto the heels so that your toes are up into the air. Or to make it easier, bring your heels closer towards that chair. So keep it going here, we're over halfway. Breathe in, you bend, breathe out, earth, you extend. Good. We're nearly there. Keep your miss moving, guys. For five, four, three, two, and one, resting. Okay guys, well done. So upper body should be feeling that slightly now. So coming now into our squats with our jumps. So standing next to that chair, remember, you're either squatting like this, or if you want to challenge yourself, you're adding that jump. So we're going in three, two, and one. So breathe in as we go down, breathe out as we come up. Remember you're just tapping your bum onto the chair, we're not actually sitting down. And then if you do want to make it harder, we can add that jump. So I'll be adding that jump in three, two, and one. So just jumping up, explosive jump up. All right, we're nearly there, 10 seconds to go. In five, four, three, two, and one, coming all the way up. Well done guys. So now getting ready for those hip thrusts. So we're coming onto the edge of the chair or the sofa. And remember, just sort of in the middle of the back, balancing onto the edge. All right, we are going in three, two, and one. So whole body comes down, squeeze with the bum, and squeeze again. We've got those pulses. Try and relax the neck, keep the head nice and neutral. We're halfway. Okay guys, 10 seconds to go. Try and keep the spine in line the whole way through this movement. In three, two, and one. Lovely work guys, well done. So that is your first round, we're halfway through. So we're gonna run through that one more time as our first round. So we have just over five seconds. Coming ready into that press up position again to start. In three, two, one, off we go. So remember, we're breathing in and then breathe out as we push up. If you wanna make it easier, come down onto your knees and 
doing your press ups this way. If it's getting a bit too much doing your full body press up, drop down onto the knees. Try not to let the back arch as you come down, keep the core nice and tight. Alright, 10 seconds left. In three, two, and one. Relaxing down. Lovely work. Okay, guys, coming onto those dips. So, we've got just over 10 seconds now. Remember, hands onto the edge of your chair. You either straighten your legs or bend your knees, whatever you need to do to make it a little bit easier or harder. All right, off we go. So we're breathing in as you bend the arms, breathe out as you press up. So slightly easier, bring those heels closer towards you. Harder, you're extending your legs straight, heels onto the floor. All right, so keeping that moving. We're currently halfway. All right, guys, we're nearly there. Well done, we've got 10 seconds left. This is the last of the tricep dips today. In five, four, three, two, and one. Lovely work. Okay, now onto the lower body movements. So coming again into those squats or the squat with jump. Got 10 seconds to go. All right, guys. Are we ready? We're going in five, four, three, two, and one. So you can either just come into your squats where you're just tapping the bum onto the chair. We're not actually sitting down. Or if you want to work a little bit harder here, you've got the option to add the jump. All right. So we've got 20 seconds left, I'm going to add the jump. Alright, 10 seconds to go, keep moving. In 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Alright guys, last exercise in this round. We're coming into those pulse hip thrusts again. So remember, just above the middle of your back, you want to be on the edge of your chair, and we're keeping that spine straight. All right, so we're going in three, two, and one. So squeeze at the top, breathing in, come down. So you've got that double squeeze at the top, keeping the spine in line at all times here. All right, we're halfway, nearly there. Last exercise on this round. Keeping that going for you guys, 10 seconds left. You should be starting to feel it working in those glutes. In three, two, one, and resting. Whew. Well done guys, how's everyone feeling? Hopefully you enjoyed that one bit of a full body session in that little part. So now we're on to our second round. This is going to be more of a lower body focus. So if you want to make this harder, grabbing your pretend dumbbells or your dumbbells or your cans, whatever it is you want to do, entirely up to you. So I will show you what we're going to be doing and then we'll get going. So we're going to start with our step ups. So starting with the right foot, we're going to come up and then down. So we're staying on this same leg. So that's our first exercise. Second exercise will be changing legs, doing exactly the same. So left one, driving the knee up, and then coming down. So knee comes up, and then going down. So that is exercise number two. Exercise number three. Right leg is gonna be up onto your chair or your sofa. We're coming into split squats. So we're breathing in as we bend, breathe out as we come up. And then, of course, exercise number four is going to be the same, but onto the other leg. So, how are we all feeling? James says so good. Amazing. All right, guys, are we ready for the lower body part now? So, starting with our step ups, I'm just going to reset the timer. Starting with our right leg. 
All right, guys, we're going in three, two, and one. Off we go. So we're stepping up with our right leg, driving left knee up. Try and keep that right leg on the chair. Really pushing up through your right heel. If it helps, breathing out as the knee comes up, breathing in as you go down. So we're really working the glutes and the legs here. We're doing really well, we're nearly there. All right, 10 seconds to go, keeping that moving. In three, two, and one, relaxing that leg down. Well done. Okay, so we've got about 15 seconds, exactly the same now, but with the left leg on the chair. A little bit closer in. Okay, are we ready? We're going in three, two, and one. So, driving right knee up, and exhale as you come up, inhale as you come down. You might find that you've got one leg that's much stronger than the other. This is completely normal. So this is why I like to do a lot of single leg stuff, to try and work out those balances. All right, guys, keeping this moving. We've got 10 seconds to go. All right, we're here for three, two, and one. Relaxing down. Quickly grab your breath. We're coming into those split squats now, so if you do want to make it harder, you can, of course, grab one or both. Yeah, if your chair is too high, that is absolutely fine. You can just do it onto the floor if it's easier. Okay, guys, so right leg is up onto that chair. Off we go. Breathing in as you come down, breathe out as you go up. You might need to adjust your positioning of your left foot. So breathing in as you bend down, breathe out as you come up. All right, we're over halfway. Keeping this moving. Nearly there, 10 more seconds. In five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent work, changing legs now. So, right leg is on the floor, left leg is up onto your chair. As before, you might need to adjust it, so you might need to shuffle your right leg further forward, wherever feels more comfortable for you. All right, we're going in five, four, three, two, and one. So we're breathing in as we come down, breathe out as you press up. If you're finding it hard to balance, focus on something in the distance. All right, we're halfway, 20 seconds to go. Breathe in as you come down, breathe out as you press up. Keep that breathing going. All right, for five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent work. All right, relaxing those legs down. We're coming back into those step ups. So, make sure you've got yourself ready. This is the last round in this section. So, hopefully we're ready. Starting with that right leg, guys, we're going in three. Two, and one, so right leg's on the chair, left leg drives up. So breathe out as the knee comes up, breathe in as you come down. Again, if you are struggling to balance, focus on something in front of you. If you want to make it harder, you can, of course, grab hold of something, or use your pretend dumbbells, whatever it is that you want to do. All right, keeping this moving, guys. We've got 10 seconds to go. In three, two, one, and relaxing. Lovely work. So we're again exactly the same onto the other leg, so changing legs. So this time, your left leg stays on the chair, your right knee is coming up. Okay, we are going in five seconds. 
Getting ready. In three, two, one, off we go. So breathe out, that knee comes up, breathe in, you go down. Try to control it on the way down, so don't let yourself just drop down. If you want to really try and work into that quad. Lovely work team, well done. Keeping that moving, we're nearly there, we're over halfway. All right, we've got 10 seconds to go. In three, two, one, and relaxing. Well done. Okay, coming into those split squats now. So we'll start with the right leg on the chair. Left leg stays onto the floor. Hopefully we're all feeling okay. Haven't had anyone say they're hurting yet. All right, we're going in three, two, one, off we go. So we're breathing in as we bend down, breathe out as you come up. Postman's here again. <laughs> you guys must find this hilarious. Keep it going guys, we're halfway, keep moving. So remember, breathe in, go down, breathe out, come up. All right, 10 seconds to go, we're nearly there. In five, four, three, two, and one. Relaxing, well done. So we're now changing legs. So right leg stays on the floor, left leg is up on that chair. Okay, we've got 10 seconds to go. Are we ready? This is your last exercise in this round. We're going in five, four, three, two, and one. Off we go. So breathe in, go down, breathe out, come up. So remember guys, it's your last exercise, don't give up. We're trying to keep this moving as much as we can. All right, we're nearly halfway. Breathe in, go down, breathe out, come up. All right, we've got 10 seconds to go. Last exercise in this round, keep moving. In five, four, three, two, one, and resting. Well done, guys. So, hopefully you're finding that that's burning slightly. That's good, that's what we want. Lisa's given us a thumbs up, thank you. And so is Ollie, amazing. All right, guys, so we're coming now into that last and final round for the day. So we'll be starting with a little bit more legs just to push them a little bit further. So again, I'm gonna show you now what we're gonna do. So if you need to recover, take this time to start breathing normally. So starting with our single leg pistol squat. So we'll start by standing on the right leg. So all we're doing is sitting down onto the chair and then coming up. So we're using all that muscle in the right leg like this. So that's exercise number one, exercise number two, exactly the same, onto the other leg. Okay, exercise number three, we've got the captain's chair. So this is a little bit more core. If your abs are still hurting from Saturday, I'm sorry, just think of the benefit that you'll have. So captain's chair, we're gonna sit onto the edge of our chair, sitting up nice and tall, and we're just gonna bring our knees up. Tapping the toes onto the floor, not dropping them down. So we're just lifting those knees up. So we're working more into the core. And then our final exercise, we're gonna have our knee to elbow crunch. So you'll be sitting a bit more into the chair, arms up to the side. So we're gonna breathe out, twisting, opposite knee, opposite elbow, coming down, and then doing the same onto the other side. So this is one exercise, we're on the same Exercise for both sides with this one. So hopefully you guys have caught your breath back. You're feeling ready. This is our third and final round. So starting with those pistol squats, so those one-legged squats, standing in front of your chair. I'm gonna reset the timer and hopefully you guys are ready. So, resetting the timer guys. We are starting standing on your right leg in three, 
two, one, off we go. So we're standing on that right leg and left leg is up off the floor. So we're just using all of the strength in our right leg to sit down and stand up. Try not to drop this leg. Of course, if you do need it for balance, that's absolutely fine. But you don't want to be using both legs to stand up. So just pushing through that right leg here. We are halfway. I'm sorry, this is making a loud noise as I sit on it. All right, keeping us moving if we can. We've got 10 seconds to go. In five, four, three, two, and one. Amazing. Not too bad, hopefully. So now we're doing exactly the same, but onto that other leg. So we'll be standing on our left leg and using that to help push us up. So we've got just over five seconds. So this time, right leg is lifted up off the floor. We're going in three, two, one, off we go. Again, if balance is something that you're struggling with, try and focus on something in front of you to keep you moving and keep you stable. Really trying to push through your heel. Keeping breathing, don't concentrate too hard, don't forget to breathe. All right, we're over halfway. You'll find that you've got one leg that is probably much stronger, that's definitely my right leg, this leg is not as good. Again, that's completely normal. Don't worry, just doing what you can here. All right, for five, four, three, two, and one. Relaxing. Lovely work. Okay, so we're now coming into those captain's chairs. So we're sitting onto the edge of our chair here. Body nice and upright. If you need to hold on, that's absolutely fine. In three, two, and one. So we're gonna breathe out as we lift our legs, breathe in as they come down. So, and focus on really squeezing into those tummy muscles here. That's going to help you activate them even more. If you want more of a challenge, you can do your straight legs. Entirely up to you. So we're halfway, so keeping moving here if you can. Good, okay, we've got 10 seconds to go. Keep that back straight in five, four, three, two, one, and relaxing. Lovely work, okay, so our final exercise in this is going to be our knee to elbow crunch. So sitting a little bit further back into the chair now, you can use it for support. Hands coming up to the side of the head in three, two, and one. So we're gonna breathe out as you crunch, so opposite elbow, opposite knee. Good, so we're really working those obliques again. We're halfway. Lovely work. So we're really trying to touch opposite elbow to opposite knee. 10 seconds to go. In three, two, one, and rest. All right, guys, are we ready? Last and final round, we're starting again with those pistol squats. So if you're struggling with the pistol squats, try and find something a little bit higher, so maybe a table, and just on the edge of your table, sitting down and standing up. That's gonna help you build up. All right, off we go. Standing on that right leg now, coming into our pistol squats. So trying to keep that left leg up off the floor. Focus on something to help you keep your balance. If you want to challenge yourself even more, you can find a lower chair. That's going to make it much harder. All right, we're over halfway now, so keeping this moving. All right, 10 seconds to go. In five, four, three, two, and one. Relaxing. All right, we're nearly done. So now changing onto that opposite leg. Is there anywhere I can catch up on all these sessions if I've missed it? Yes. Harlequin's Foundation YouTube will have all of these sessions. So guys, coming now onto that other leg. 
Stand on your left leg, right leg is up. Off we go. So these are your last pistol squats that I'm making you do today. Last leg exercise of the day. Keep breathing, keep that focus in the distance if you need to. All right, we're nearly there. Halfway, 20 seconds to go. Okay guys, 10 seconds left, that is all. 10 last seconds of these leg exercises. In three, two, one, and relaxing. Amazing, okay, so that's our legs done. Let's just finish off these last two exercises, working into that core. So sitting onto the edge of your chair, starting with those captain's chair crunches. Nice and tall, we are going in three, two, and one. So we're going to breathe out as the knees come up, breathe in as we tap the toes to the floor. So remember, you've got your hard option of legs being straight and then tucking them up like that. Okay, 20 seconds to go. We're halfway. This is your penultimate exercise of the day. Keep sitting up nice and tall, don't let that back round. All right, in five, four, three, two, one, and resting. Amazing work, okay guys, last and final exercise of the day. We're coming into those crunches onto the chest. So remember, hands up by your sides, we're doing opposite elbow to opposite knee. If you want to make this harder, sit onto the edge of your chair. All right, in three, two, one. One, off we go. So we're breathing out and twisting, opposite elbow, opposite knee. Try getting that knee up a little bit higher if you want to challenge your core slightly further. All right, guys, this is our last exercise. We've got 20 seconds to go. Don't give up just yet. Keep on moving. We've got 10 seconds. All right, in five, four, three, two, and one. Well done, guys. So we have just done it. We've finished. Charlotte, shout me out, it's my birthday. Happy birthday, Charlotte. <laughs> okay, guys, well done. So that is, you guys, done for the day. We'll just quickly have a quick stretch down. If you need to leave us, absolutely fine. Otherwise, just stay on, make sure you cool down, get that breathing back to normal. So standing up, as always, if you need to hold on to something, please do, we'll start with a quad stretch. So lifting your left foot. So you wanna stretch out the front of that quad. If you can't feel much of a stretch, try pushing your hips forward. Knees stay together here. All right, and then changing legs. So both knees together again. Push the hips forward if you need to get a deeper stretch. All right, and then a quick chest stretch. So we're gonna bring both palms onto the lower back, relaxing the shoulders down, trying to touch your elbows towards each other. All right, and then releasing those arms, we'll now just come into a quick tricep stretch. So, right hand is gonna come onto the back. Left hand is gonna come up onto that right elbow and push down. And you should be feeling a nice stretch down the back of your right arm right now. All right, holding here for three, two, and one. Releasing, so same one to the other side. So, left hand comes onto the back. Right hand comes up onto the elbow and pushes down. So feeling that stretched out into the left tricep. For three, two, and one. Relaxing the arms down, giving your shoulders a little roll. Well done guys, that is you done for the day. I really hope you guys have enjoyed that. So you've got lots of thumbs up here, that's amazing. 
Thank you guys for joining us again. And tomorrow we'll be using stairs. So <laughs> Lucy just did it in the garden in the rain. <laughs> Amazing, well done. So tomorrow's workout we'll be using the stairs. So that's going to be very interesting and very exciting. So you'll have a different view to this lovely view that we have every day. As always, please like, share, subscribe, tell your friends about us. I'm here every day at 12 doing live workouts just for you guys, just to try and keep you active and to kind of get your motivation going and help your mental health out a little bit. So if you miss any of these sessions or if you want to go back and do a rerun of any of the sessions that we've done, they are over on the Harlequins Foundation YouTube channel. So go over there and check them out and you already have seven days worth of content up there. Um, obviously yesterday we were just stretching, but that might be really nice for some people just to do a little bit of movement. Anyway, thank you guys so much for joining. I'm glad you enjoyed it and I will see you again same time tomorrow. Take care guys, have a lovely day.